Hi everyone, welcome to Valencia. The final round of the Sprint Series uh, is finally here. And uh, for this uh, weekend, we decided to show you the steering wheel of the car and to explain a little bit all the functions that we have. And uh, there are quite a bit, so listen up. Overall, it's quite a, a busy steering wheel, but everything is quite well uh, dispatched. We have this main rotary, which we call the, the central function button, let's say. Um, then we have these four main switches, which are things that we touch quite often during the stint, let's say. So you have ABS, uh, pedal map, which is the response of the throttle which can be very efficient, for example, in the rain or in lower grip conditions where it's not optimum. Then uh, all these uh, push buttons are immediate actions. So, for example, here we have the four course yellow, which is why it's a bit outlined uh, with some protection so that you don't press by misfortune uh, on the button. Same goes for the pit speed limiter. Radio button, uh, the one which gets worn the most because <laughs> we use it a lot, mainly to complain. Um, then you have all these uh, rotary buttons on the side which control the TC, the traction control, uh, neutral gear, uh, drink for long distance race. And then what's quite interesting in the Ferrari um, steering wheel is that there is some push buttons at the back as well. For example, this is called the TC fix, which allows us to have a set uh, TC uh, setting uh, during a, a specific corner, so you can even turn it off uh, if needed. So the shift paddles, uh, like in every modern GT3 cars, upshift, downshift, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Two paddles at the back at the bottom are uh, for the clutch. So it's a, it's a hand clutch car uh, controlled. A lot of things going on, but at the end, uh, it's very practical for us and a lot of tools that helps us during the, the course of a stint to, you know, to, to get around uh, some issues.